coming up on ADV Outdoors. Dig in the hole. How much more? Adrian! Yeah, we're down to one vehicle, eh? <laughs> Five assholes and one vehicle. Hey guys, welcome back. Great ride today out with four of my friends. One in the passenger seat, one in a player Sportsman 570, one in a brand new Yamaha Kodiak, and the other in a Yamaha Grizzly. See, we started off with three quads. The player Sportsman 570 quickly went down while we were still out looking for trails to ride. He bought some used tires from Kijiji recently and must have hit something going a little bit too fast and cracked the tire pretty bad. So we got that one back to the trailer and uh, he jumped in the back seat with us. So here we are, first trail of the day. Finally, a bit of off-road action. If you guys like this style of video, let me know in the comments. Don't forget to click the like button. If you're new to the channel, any subscribers are always appreciated. I'm really trying to hit that 1,000 subscriber mark. fun spot there's some water holes there's some hill climbs some soft sand some kind of uneven terrain fun for quads and side by sides slow crawling jeep type riding in the Kawasaki but I haven't really had a chance to play around with it in an area like this so this was a lot of fun. It's recording now, maybe you're recording.
these in the Z Force, but uh, the Kawasaki Terrace turning radius is a little bit too big to really hit it good. friend in the passenger seat told me before the ride started that he forgot to bring a change of clothes and he was worried about driving home in his brand new 370Z. So I'm just as wet as he is but I find it hilarious because he's got to get into his little car afterwards and I don't really care too much about my truck. turns out later.
in a bit of denial. I didn't want to look. What a day, man. Must be me. thought I could inflate it at this point because they're telling me it's starting to come off the rim. Oh, it's coming off the rim. No, that tire is well off the rim. I should play it play here maybe. I would, man. It's starting to come right off the rim. That's not good. <laughs> probably because, uh, it was probably way back then and then they started taking mud holes and aggressive hill climbs and all that shit. So now we're trying to figure out what we're going to do. Pretty quickly I decided the only real option was to get the wheel off and get it into a tire shop for repair. So I called my Kawasaki dealer. They recommended a tire shop which was pretty close to the trailhead. The problem was getting there with the tire. So I got a ride on one of the quads on the back rack while the other quad hauled the tire up for me. That ride absolutely was painful. You're flat and you're yeah. If you off right now, we all be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're down to one vehicle. Eh? <laughs> Five assholes and one vehicle. <laughs> So on the way back, I decided to pick up my CF Moto Z Force and drive the tire back with that because I can. I don't know if you guys can hear me, but uh, the recovery mission is well underway. I uh, I got the CF Moto Z Force now. I got the Kawasaki repaired wheel and tire in the back, and uh, I'm headed out to meet the guys to get this thing back on the Kawasaki Terex and carry on. What a day! <laughs> The honey badger <laughs> dig in the hole so even though this was okay to get the tire off i had to dig out around it because the inflated tire was larger trying to get it back on <laughs> like we, we can we can lift this like we can tip it while you put it on there too on this week's episode of adv outdoors <laughs> your hosts digging a hole I think that would be good, eh? Boom. The magic of editing. This only took a minute or two to get the tire back on. Hey, -o. hey -o. 
immediately though I want to hit that mud hole that the grizzly was just stuck in. pound winch on the CF moto it wasn't even budging me so what I had to do is hook the CF moto winch up to a tree in the front of us and then I did like a winch train with the Kawasaki feeling free. Everyone's having a good time. My buddy that was in the passenger seat is now driving my CF moto that I brought with the tire. This is about two and a half minutes in. all right other than a broken side view mirror. It was one of those days we thought we should cut the ride there. You guys think we should wait while we're still breathing or what? I'm good to go to seriously. Yeah, we do. It's almost next already, so yeah, that, that sounds good. good. We can't afford another disaster. No. Alright, so we are back, finally, back at the trailhead, ready to head home. Oh, what a day, but we're sorted out now, so uh, a little bit of maintenance to do at home, nothing too bad, but I just want to say thanks guys for watching and uh, we'll see you guys next time.